Heisman Friday night game of the week, Vieira at Coco. Mm -hmm. The Friday night locker room game of the week. I love the sound of that, Zach. Mm -hmm. And now with Space Coast Daily involved on a weekly basis, it's worldwide. So Steve and I can get the Coco Tiger and the Vieira Hawks all to Jim Williams in Korea <laughs> so he can hear it. Our buddies over there, John Schaffner's son, also over there in Korea, believe it or not. Two Coco Tigers. Well, he's actually from Titusville. But listening to uh, that game, it should be a monster. But that stadium will be rocking Friday night. The Vera Hawks only having to travel about five miles up the road to Coco. They're going to bring a huge crowd. Mm -hmm. The Coco Tigers fan base is going to be there on their side. And it's, it's going to be, I guarantee you, standing room only. And mainly because the Friday night locker room will be there. But there should be a pretty good football game on the field, too. I don't think there's any question the Vieira Hawks have been a lot of people talking about this game since the beginning of the season. The Hawks coming in, they were 9-0 last year through the regular season, did not lose a game, and they started talking earlier. People started talking, I can't wait till the Hawks and the Tigers play. Yeah. It's going to happen this Friday. Hayden Kingston is going to be a lot on his shoulders, the quarterback for the Hawks, because Vieira has not been able to find their running game, I think, like they would like. And you just can't be one-dimensional against the Coco Tigers and be successful. It's not going to happen. Kingston's going to put up some numbers. I don't know how big the numbers are going to be because the Tigers, are they know they're going to throw the football. They're going to pin their ears back and go after them. Uh, it should be a great high school football game. I'm going to let Orville talk about it and pick first, and then I'll pick. Well, you know, Coco had a very easy win last week against the district foe in Lake Highland Prep, and their all-star everything quarterback, Bruce Judson, didn't even play. So that tells you John Wilkinson has a lot of uh, uh, thought into what he's doing thinking, well, we're going to have to have this guy for the Vieira game. We can beat uh, this team we're on the field tonight with without our, our quarterback, and he does that. So what happens? They give Chauncey Gardner the opportunity to come from defense to offense. He only puts up 153 yards and two touchdowns, so he replaced <laughs> one with the other. It, it doesn't matter. It's just like, you know, pull Steve out, put me in, and uh, normally it goes way downhill, but in the Tigers' case, uh, Chauncey Gardner with 153 yards. It doesn't slow down from there. Howard Stewart ran for 116 on offense. He's becoming a big workhorse for the for the uh, Coco Tigers, and you know they just continually. They also ran an interception back for a touchdown. The Vieira Hawks they score quickly. They score in bunches, but I don't think they'll be able to score in bunches against the speed and the athleticism of the Coco Tiger defense. I'm going to go out on a limb here and take the Tigers. He's got Coco. Mm -hmm. Steve, who do you got? Yeah, I think there's a lot of pressure on the Vera Hawks offensive line. They have to give Hayden Pink's, uh, Kingston time to throw the football, and I don't know that they can do that. Oral talked about the Coco Tiger offense. Chauncey Gardner, without question, the best all-around football player in Brevard County. No question about it. Uh, plays offense, defense, special teams. He can, he can do it all. Howard Stewart. Where did he come from? You know, we've talked a lot about uh, Timmy Pratt and Bruce Judson, you know, Zach Armour, the tight end, but uh, the, the Tigers just seem to plug in kids that excel. Uh, I think Coco will win the football game. Don't know how close it's going to be, but they could, they could win it by three or four scores. Oh, wow. 